The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Madison, Wisconsin, Thomas Jones. Hey, yo, guys, what's going on? It's Sherrick here, and we are back with another episode of WWE 2K16 My Career. As you see on your screen right now, TJ Jones is without the NXT Championship. He has relinquished it to chase a main roster one specifically the Intercontinental Championship. Please give this series and the video a big stamp of approval if you like it. Subscribe and share if you feel so inclined. And thank you guys so much for tuning in as you see TJ Jones debuting here on SmackDown. Uh, we'll find out who his opponent is in just a second, but uh, had to go into why I relinquished uh, the belt for him. It became a lot of just... Uh, the matches against ja uh, Finn Balor, matches against Kevin Owens, an occasional match here against like Sami Zayn or what have you, but for the most part it was Kevin Owens and Finn Balor that I was facing. So I thought maybe it's time to spice it up a little bit and see what the main roster has. And the main roster produces Jack Swagger as TJ Jones' first opponent. A former ECW champion, former United States champion, former Money in the Bank winner, and former World Heavyweight Champion. TJ could really make a statement with a victory over Jack Swagger, despite the fact that he's uh, kind of sunken in status recently. In real life, just lost to Alberto Del Rio uh, for the United States Champion. Maybe spoilers, but if you're a diehard WWE fan, you probably already know and you watched WWE TLC last night. But like I said, TJ could really make a statement in his debut by defeating a former World Heavyweight Champion like Jack Swagger. So, without further ado, here we go. Jack Swagger versus TJ Jones in his main roster debut. Jones getting ready. Swagger checking the knee pads. And here we go, the match is on. Jones versus Swagger. Jones wasting no time, quick drop kick to the knees. Dropping Swagger, making a statement right away as he is attacking the former Money in the Bank winner, former US champ, real American, Jack Swagger here. Putting the bump on his shoulders, what's he going for first? Ooh, that double gut buster, that gut check style gut buster. And following up with a sick kick to the head of Jack Swagger. Just being absolutely rude in his debut here. And he hooks him up and Brain Buster dropping Swagger on his head. Very quickly focusing on that head and neck of Swagger as is his custom. Vintage TJ Jones if you will. Goes for a back fist but Swagger blocks it. And Swagger is going to go for some offense now. In the ropes, but Jones throws him over the top with the reversal, taunting a little bit more, showing off in his NXT debut. Referee starting to count Swagger out, but I doubt that Jones is going to want a victory that way. Kick to the midsection, and a quick neck breaker to Jack Swagger. Has Swagger reeling. Picks him back up, but Swagger blocks it with a big forearm. Europe, like a European uppercut there. And Jones blocking it now, and a big side suplex to put Swagger back down. And Jones is firmly in the driver's seat here, whipping Swagger into the corner. But Swagger now reverses. Looking like a Finn Balor versus TJ Jones match with all the reversals and a jumping tornado DDT. Jones pulls that one out of his old bag of tricks, and now he is stomping away on the chest of Jack Swagger rolling him onto his stomach, pulling at the, the ears maybe, as he stomps him back into the mat with that curb stomp. Pulls him back to his feet now, whipping him into the corner, facing away from the ring. Swagger with a back elbow and a snap mare to put TJ on, on the mat. Now he's gonna, gonna wrench at that head and neck a little bit. What is, that, what is Jones gonna do to get out of this one? Swagger really cinched it in. TJ not able to get up oh, now TJ getting back to his feet slowly but surely elbow to the midsection there's a second one 
and a kick. And there's that big shining wizard freeform knee to the side of the face of Jack Swagger. He looks like he is out on his feet as Jones with another side suplex. And now what's Jones doing here? He's going up. Oh, he's going all the way to the top rope. And he's posing for a minute. And a 450 splash. 450 splash from TJ Jones pulling that one. Brand new move for the main roster. But Swagger kicks out after one. Wow. And now Jones, oh, he looked like he was going for those elbows to the neck and shoulder. But Swagger blocks it. And Jones with a DDT blocking Swagger's attempt at some offense. And he's got him now in the Anaconda Vice. Jones not one typically to go for a submission holds. And Swagger primarily a submission wrestler. So I don't know if uh, Swagger is going to tap out here. Let's see. Nope. He lets him out. But I think the damage may have been done. Swagger using a reversal to get away. And now Jones whips him into the rope. Swagger reverses. Goes under. And Jones stop. Oh, backflip. And that Mayor Rana and Kipping to his feet. Showing some brand new offense here as Jones puts him on his shoulders. Up and a roundhouse kick. That roundhouse kick to the side of the head. Swagger could be out. Jones wasting little time. Going for the pin. But no, Swagger kicks out just after two. And he eats a kick to the, to the back from TJ Jones. Jones looking very impressive in his main roster debut as he turns him upside down with that Omega Driver. That Omega Driver connecting against Jack Swagger and that could do it. Jones circling around him and now going for the cover. One, two, no, Jack Swagger kicking out. Jack Swagger kicks out of the Omega Driver and Jones does not look pleased. He does not want Swagger to ruin his debut as the back fist is blocked again. Whipped into the ropes and oh, a wheelbarrow into the German suplex. Throwing TJ over his head and now just clubbing at the back. And a little insult to injury with the push-ups on the prone back. He's grabbing a little, uh, grabbing some cake there. No homo. Pause if needed, if you will. And now Jones going to make him pay for it. Another, ooh, another gut buster. And he's got him set up. And here it comes. Another kick to the side of the head of Jack Swagger. Jones looks like he's had enough. Another fireman's carry. What has he got this time? Uh, the backpack stunner. He snaps off the backpack stunner. He has used that to finish matches before. Swagger is a little close to the ropes, though. One, two. Jones successful in his debut against Jack Swagger, defeating the former ECW World Heavyweight Champion and Money in the Bank winner. TJ looking very impressive with the victory. Renee Young is now standing by with TJ Jones. Please join me in welcoming my guest tonight. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. It feels like the authority is very displeased with you. What are your thoughts on that? I'd be displeased with me too, based on what I'm doing out there. I will not let the authority ruin the WWE. I will stand in their way. I will fight for what is right. And I will fight for what the WWE universe wants. And that's for the authority to be overthrown. You were voted as a top 10 favorite superstar by the WWE Universe. Care to share some words about that? It's an honor to be recognized by the WWE Universe. I do this for them and no one else. They keep cheering for me and I'm going to take them to the top with me. That's how this goes. There you have it. Back to you guys. TJ Jones gets absolutely no time to rest because he debuts on Monday Night Raw against Chris Jericho. Will he keep his undefeated streak alive through the main roster or will Y2J break the code? Find out right now.
Now, TJ Jones making his way to the ring for his Raw debut, but look who is right behind him. Fandango hits him with a running bulldog and stops him right on the ramp, assaulting the undefeated superstar. Jones with a reversal, but Fandango with a running back elbow puts him right back on the ramp, and now he's just putting the boots to TJ Jones and going for another shot, which Jones rolls out of the way of, but he hits another shot. Now Jones fighting back here. He's got Fandango on his shoulders and a flapjack onto the steel ramp, and he is just kicking and stomping away at Fandango, who has ruined, essentially, his Raw debut against Chris Jericho. And now Jones with a back suplex onto Fandango, really punishing him for getting involved. Jones does not want to, to have Fandango be the one to take him out, the first one to take him out, right as he debuts on Monday Night Raw. Backpack stunner on Fandango, but he's not quite out yet, so Jones stomps on him one more time for good measure. Now, the match does not take place, but TJ is going to get the next best thing to face off against the Intercontinental Champion Ryback. That's going to wrap up this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And as always, I will see you guys right here on this channel. Peace!